So I picked up a couple of these wise cams you see behind me here. It's the uh, version three because I needed something that was really quick and easy to set up that I could access remotely when I wasn't at home uh, from anywhere, right? So we're talking about one of those cloud streaming services with these wise cameras. And uh, you know, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a modification on these. We're gonna be installing a software that's not natively uh, supported. And right now is currently in a, a closed beta phase. Uh, but we are going to be putting a special firmware on this camera that is going to allow for the RTSP protocol to be used, uh, which will allow you, instead of sending all of these video feeds randomly up into the cloud, you know, some Amazon server, uh, we are going to be storing them locally on our own NVR, which we built using Shinobi. Whew! God, I had to get out of that heat, man. It's hot out there. But before we get into loading up this camera with the new firmware there's a couple things that we need right so what i'm fumbling around with in my hands is this tiny this tiny little sand disk micro sd card reader i hope you can see that okay so this guy here 64 gigabytes we need to format this properly and to do that we're going to need our next object boom an SD card reader. Okay, now you need to make sure that again, it has the micro uh, slot available. So um, I'll provide some links to these down in the comments or down in the description below, but you do need these in order to get your WISE camera running the RTSP firmware. So when you've got your SD card reader and the SD card ready to go, it's time to source the file. So as you can see here, I'm on a WISE support forum and uh, Basically what this page is telling you is that RTSP is currently at the time of this recording a beta firmware. Um, in addition to that, they actually removed um, official support for their version of this firmware from their sites. And I guess we can look forward to actually seeing that come out from them officially from the future. So, you know, that begs the question, how are we actually going to get this file if, if WISE is not supporting it? Well, uh, I found this guy on YouTube. He's called uh, Home Tech DIY. So he's got this video here, how to access your WISE camera V3 through your NVR. Um, very similar. He's going to walk you through some of the same steps that we're going through here. Uh, but he's actually also hosting this on his website. So big props to this guy. This is where I downloaded the file from, and I'll link to it down below. Uh, go ahead over to his website, which is this right here. Um, and then when you get here, you're going to be looking for your add RTSP to WISE V3 camera here. You can download the demo V3 RTSP firmware. Uh, 4.61.0.1 zip and um, this is what we need to load up onto our SD card in order to get it loaded on the camera itself. So get this downloaded and then we'll get ready to put this on the SD card. I'll show you how to format it right now. All right, so go ahead and launch your favorite uh, hard disk formatting tool. I'm going to use Rufus here and uh, you want to make sure that your SD card is selected. Uh, mine's this 64 gigabyte sand disk here. And what is really important, I couldn't get my uh, camera to boot off of this originally uh, because I needed to set this boot selection feature here to non bootable, right? We're going to keep MBR, keep the selection. And then what also was important is to make sure that you're doing large fat 32. Right, so with those settings in mind, let's go ahead and wipe this. It's going to warn you, obviously, you're going to destroy your data if you do this. And you're going to see right over here, this E drive. Uh, I had been saving some uh, camera footage on there locally. That's all going to be gone, right? So if you have something important on your SD card, make sure to save it. Because uh, just like that in the blink of an eye, it's going to be gone. Uh, so now, now that we're here, I do have a non-bootable regular SD uh, card. I'm going to take the demo WC uh, Wise Cam version 3 bin file, simply drag it on in there, and we're done, right? Right click, eject, and we're going to get ready to put this thing into the camera itself, load it up, and we'll be streaming in our TSP. All right, so important to note, before we actually commit to upgrading this camera, we need to first provision this camera using our phone. So open up your Wise Cam app and get ready to plug your camera in. There we go. Notice the little red light. And then a little blue right light, I believe, should follow. So now we can get ready to go on our phone here. We're going to click the plus icon, add new device, cameras, Wise Cam V3. Right? It's telling you look for the red flashing light. And then there we go. Red flashing light. We have it. We're going to hear something here in a second. I'm going to be quiet. Oh, you actually have to click the uh, you actually have to click the setup button here underneath the camera. Ready to connect. 
There we go. So I heard ready connect. There we go. It's going to ask for your uh, Wi-Fi network information. Now here's the QR code. QR code scanned. Please wait. That's simple. Let this guy connect. Setup now, completed. Setup completed. You can name your device. We're just going to put some random name in there. Uh, we'll call it Outdoor Security. And then this is again selling you that cloud trial stuff. Uh, we'll just say, okay, thanks for the two week trial. Do not want to show the device and then it's going to spit you out right here. It's going to load up for you. So we'll see this. There we go. There I am there. And there I am over there, right? Hi guys. All right, cool. So our second camera is provisioned here in the Wise app, but that's not going to give you the RTSP protocol. Um, that's just going to enable the basic cloud features. So I'm going to run in there and just by default, it has a bunch of the uh, motion settings and everything all, all set up. Uh, so we're going to the, not the detection, but we're going to the event recording and we'll straight up turn this off, right? Because right now by default, you are actively sending the data up into the cloud, uh, making sure the alarm's off and we're going to the advanced settings, right? So uh, what I really want you to notice here is when we scroll all the way down, right underneath sync time, you know, there's, there's nothing there. And to confirm what version we're on, we'll go to device info and you see we're on 4.36.3.19. So that's not the version that our RTSP is running. Um, and now comparing that with what you would see on the front porch cam, which is running the current version that we need, I can open up advanced view and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we come into advanced settings, there we go. And we have RTSP and it's in the on position, right? So when you come in here, you can turn it on or off and get your live stream feed. Um, and this is actually what you need to input into your NVR or VLC or whatever you're gonna be streaming these cameras to. Um, this is the link you need, right? So um, how do you upgrade or how do you downgrade rather from 4.63 to, and I'll show you here on this camera, 4.61.0.3. Well, everything that we've done up until this point, right? So we're gonna go ahead and take our SD card reader out. We will go back to the camera we're working on, backyard cam, and we'll get ready. So what I'm gonna do right now, unplug the camera, and then here is where your SD card goes in. I'm gonna flap the thing open. It's like a uh, pretty nice little weatherproof thing. We're gonna insert a camera in making sure that you did it into the right way, unlike me. There you go, I should hear a little click, put it back on. Now, important, before you actually plug this back in, you do want to be holding on to your setup button. You hear that? Make sure that button is engaged when you actually do this. So I'm gonna do this over here a little bit, it's gonna be kinda of awkward for me, because I'm doing this video, but I'll try my best. So I just about got it. We're well, gonna hold setup. These wise cams, you're looking for a purple blink. There it is. So you can let go. And just like that, we're gonna chill out for a couple minutes. This camera is going to install the new firmware reboot itself and when it comes back up it will already be provisioned in our system here on our cloud system with the rtsp protocol um, installed all right there we are so our camera just reconnected automatically through the wise app we're going to go over into device settings to see what firmware we're running see if the upgrade or the downgrade rather were successful here you can see 4.61.0.3 downgrade success let's go into advanced settings RTSP is off. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the RTSP on. And then just for this demo, just like the last one, I'm gonna type in just WiseCam for username and password. And this is what you're gonna to use to actually generate the URL, which will be what the uh, live streaming software uses to connect, right? So here's your URL, and this is what we need to input into your NVR system. And ultimately from this point, as far as the camera configuration goes, we're done here, right? Once you have this link, we're good to go. Let's open up the NVR and get this thing installed. All right, so here we are. The first camera was already installed. It's obviously over there. So hello, everybody. How are you? A little bit delayed on that, but um, what we need to do now is take that RTSP link that we generated and get it into the system, right? So we're just gonna click add new camera. 
this is not necessarily a Shinobi guide, right? We're not gonna go super deep into this for you guys here now, but that's why you subscribe so you can get more of these details later, right? So we're gonna go watch only. Uh, we're gonna bring it on down to connection. It's going to be RTSP forward slash forward slash wise cam wise cam at 10.0098 that's the uh dynamic ip i got slash live now we're going to do probe which you can click import because it's going to bring all those settings in for you and click close right so that's really it now one thing i want to share with you guys i could not get this to work um, right away come on down before you save this into the analyzation de uh, duration and the probe size Take a digit off of this, leave it at 100,000, bring it down from a million, and this is gonna work a lot better for you. So we're gonna click save. So yeah, after I actually click save on that, um, it gave me a little bit of trouble. So I, I rebooted the camera, and when it came back up, it was actually all good. So go ahead and reboot your camera if it's giving a little bit of fuss after uh, that first time it comes back up when it takes the uh, downgrade. But uh, yeah, that's it. As you guys can see, you know, I've got a pretty sweet setup here regarding the uh, home security system, um, DIY. This is all done using basically hand-me-down stuff, and um, I did just pick up these $30 cameras. Uh, so it's been really fun. Uh, I plan to do some more work on this here in the coming uh, days, like completely cutting off the cloud access to those cameras, as well as... Um, you know, getting more of them and doing other things with the Shinobi and VR as well, like motion detection. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, check down the links below for support articles as well as the product links to order this stuff uh, and support the uh, videos here. So uh, until next time, guys, thanks for coming.